Talking all about our hometown tour today, we will be live in Millbrook this evening. And Millbrook is a great place to get that hometown feel. That's why we're calling it our hometown tour, but it is quickly growing. We're joined now by Millbrook's mayor, Al Kelly. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. You've been the mayor there for 30 plus years. You live in Millbrook. You love that community. How has it changed though? Oh, it's changed. Used to you could ride down the street and see every every car you passed, you knew them. Now it's bad traffic. You know, it's, it's, it's a traffic hazard at five o'clock. Well, five thirty, because most of them get out of Montgomery at five o'clock. So and when you ride down that street now, you got the Walmart, the Taco Bell, Grandview YMCA. One of the big spots though, Seventeen Springs. That's where we'll be live this evening. A lot going on. At Seventeen Springs. Talk about the transition, and then what's next? What are the next okay. phases? Right. Well, I want to thank Channel 12 first for having their hometown tour in Millbrook today. Look forward to seeing uh, all of y'all at uh, 17 Springs this afternoon. Bring your pickleball clothes and your pickleball paddles, <laughs> and maybe we'll get in a game or two. 17 Springs is a kind of a concept that a bunch of us just sat around one day, and we had about four or five meetings with the, with the Grandview Y and the Elmore County Commission and the Board of Education and our Economic Development Authority, and we just kept talking and talking and dreaming and the dreams got bigger and bigger and so we wanted to make them a reality. So right now phase one is fully operational. It's got four multi-purpose fields on it for soccer, football, various sundry other things. Uh, Twelve uh, tennis courts that are regulation approved tennis courts. The Blue Gray Tennis Tournament had part of their um, tournament out in Millbrook this, this year. 12 pickleball courts that are just staying crowded. I mean, yes, you, they you know, are. <laughs> they're, they're, there's somebody on those pickleball courts all the time. And I was thinking about pickleball, the, the, uh, the, we have a pickleball club in Millbrook. Oh, and, and, and they are really looking forward to this afternoon with Channel 12 oh, there. Good. So they're, they're going to have a crowd out there playing pickleball uh, while y'all are there also. But what is next? Because when you go out and you play pickleball or your kids are playing soccer, you can see all the construction happening on the side. What is that? What's going up next? The uh, the next phase is phase two, and it's an 86,000 square foot multiplex building. Beautiful building, really designed, state of the art. Uh, you can play up to eight volleyball games in there at a time. We can have concerts in there. We can have uh, uh, road car shows or uh, boat shows, things like that in there in that particular thing. Attached to that is a championship football field that will be uh, Stan Hope's, uh, I think Stan Hope's place to play in the future and uh, a competition track around the uh, football field, just this competitive track. And we have six diamond fields. All the diamond fields are softball regulation uh, and or small or up to 12 years old. We didn't make any big fields. And uh, we're looking for those travel ball tournaments. We're looking for those parents. These parents, you probably know, these parents nowadays. Uh, they travel all over. They spend a lot over. of money traveling. We want them to stop in Millbrook, Alabama and spend a few days with us. And spend some of that money right, right. there in Millbrook. <laughs> so when you're driving down that main stretch, you see the Walmart, I mentioned the Taco Bell, Grandview, 17 Springs. Another thing you see, though, is that sign that says Publix coming soon. Publix coming soon. Uh, we're excited about that. Uh, we're looking for a July opening on the Publix. Ooh, that's so it's, soon. It's, getting, it's getting there. And uh, matter of fact, as I was walking up here, the uh, the developer of the Publix was calling me, but I couldn't get the call. I'm hoping he's got some really <laughs> some really good news for us, uh, maybe even sooner. But but uh, the Publix is huge. Everybody's looking forward to the Publix, and and uh, you know it's 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 going to be a great addition to our city. Now, what else is going up that hill with the Publix? Because you can see kind of a big space. Is there more to come? There's over there? there's two out parcels up there that were about an acre and a half a piece that will be good for restaurants, and I'm hoping that's what that developer was Ooh. calling me for a little while ago <laughs> um, but the uh, it, it, it's it's it can be restaurants maybe some fast food I don't know what all he's got planned they really keep tight lips on it so I don't know there's also six other spaces that are attached to Publix I think it's 6,000 square feet uh, there will be some typical shops and things in in that area that's attached to Publix 
You've, you live in Millbrook. You work, you play, you do all the things in Millbrook. What is your favorite part about Millbrook, even with all the changes over the years? What do you love so much about that I community? love this, the community atmosphere and how people work together. And if you've got a problem, somebody's going to try to help you out. And, and uh, every, it's, it's still, we, we try to keep that small town atmosphere. It's getting a little bit more difficult. <laughs> it's getting but, a little bigger uh, over yes, there. Yes, <laughs> but we try to keep that small town atmosphere as, as much as we can. And, and um, like I said, when you ride down the road now, you don't know anybody. You can walk in a restaurant and I don't know anybody in the restaurant. Um, but you know, it's just different. And, um, but still we keep that hometown feel. Quality of life is, is, is number one importance to us. Uh, we've got walking trails scattered throughout around the city. So when the parents come home from working and they want to take little Johnny or little Susie to practice somewhere, there's a field, there's a track there they can walk around or get some exercise. And it's just, that's just where we started from the beginning and we're going to keep going that way. You mentioned all those new faces in Millbrook. When you see those new faces, when you meet those new families, what are they telling you? What are they saying about the community and what attracted them there? Most of them say they really enjoy Millbrook. I've had people tell me they lived here and moved away and came back and uh, and they they I think they really enjoy it we get a lot of military also that we really appreciate and uh, from time to time they have to move away but uh, so many times they come back to Millbrook and retire and uh, and those people you know th that age group is really a big asset to the community because of the input that they give us we get of course we get our typical complaints we always <laughs> do you know you're gonna get that but the uh, but Overall, everybody, as soon as I go into a restaurant now, the first thing somebody says, man, that 17 Springs is really <laughs> nice. That's going to be a game changer. Uh, we like to call it a generational changer because, um, you know, my age, I've got kids in the 40s and they've got kids in the teens. And, um, and, and, and that, so we Years think. Years from now, they'll look back and say, I remember when. We, we hope they stay there because, uh, you know, they were born and raised there and I hope they stay there and I hope they raise their kids there also. It will be something for the grandbabies to play soccer, for the folks to walk around the track, or just to go out and watch a little league baseball game, soccer game, or play pickleball. Mayor, will you be playing pickleball with us later? I, this I'm, I'm going to have my outfit on oh. and, and I'm going to have my, <laughs> my, my, my paddle with me. So, yes, right. I'm going to try to play. We look forward to seeing the mayor's pickleball outfit a little bit later on <laughs> as we continue our hometown tour. Again, WSFA will be live at 17 Springs in Millbrook from 4 to 6.30 p.m. The mayor will be out there. The pickleball club will be there ready and in action. Come on out and say hey to us if you're in that area as we show off Millbrook. We've been showing off Millbrook you have. all day long. Well, you have, and I, and I appreciate it very much, and our people appreciate it very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah. Thank you for joining us here in Alabama Live. I know you got to take that phone call, so I appreciate it. <laughs>